G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Look, I was sitting down with a mate the other day and he said to me, Max, can you tell me where they hide the cabin filter on a Nissan X-Trail T31 2010 model with that 2.5 litre engine in it? And I said to him, mate, have I got the video for you? That's this one you're watching right now. Actually, nah, that never happened. But hey, I'm sure this will go into your playlist very well. So what's involved in replacing a cabin filter on this X-Trail? Let's do it together. Generally speaking, you're gonna find a cabin filter hidden in behind the glove box here. And ooh, I'm glad that it isn't in this particular case but I might actually move the glove box out of the road for you guys just so I can get my camera in there. It's tight. So we go down here and it's hidden. Let's see if I can get in there first. It's hidden up in there somewhere. So you can see that little door there, that fella there. I'll put an arrow there for you. That is the cabin filter door. So to gain access to it is a little bit of a pain. You shouldn't have to remove the glove box to do it, but I will for my camera's sake and for your viewing pleasure. So as I said, I've pulled out the glove box. No need to really. Um, it'll give you heaps more clearance, obviously, but I've done it just to make it easier for you guys. It took a lot of grunting and groaning, so I certainly hope you appreciate the effort I put in for you guys. Um, there's the little trap door hidden back there. I can't actually see what the camera's showing you at the moment. Hopefully I got it right. Um, that's this bloke right here. Okay, and it's not that hard. It's just like a, a little uh, hooky thing down the bottom. All right, you just hook your finger in behind that. So I've just popped off that little uh, trap door on the enclosure, and you can see there's sort of like a little clippy thing on the bottom that wedges into place. This fella here has a little um, locating pin, I guess you could say, and that holds that into place. Now, the cabin filter. The cabin filter on these aren't particularly enjoyable to work on. Um, you've got to compress them to get them out. So you, you sort of got to squish them like that. And this fella here is uh, not very happy. It's extremely hard to work on. Uh, apparently the, the Westfield ones are pretty good because they are a bit more squishy. This one here, I don't know what brand it is, but man, is it seriously tight. So you've got to, you got to yeah, squish them like that. What I might do is put something in here to stop this folding back into the cavity. And I'll do the same on the bottom. And that should in fact make it easier. <laughs> I can't see what I'm looking at so tight in there. Um, and I'll do the same on the bottom there and hopefully that will help me get it out. As you can see, I'm using all my Miracle Max wisdom. <laughs> Not that there's much there, but I've got a uh, trim clip removal tool in the bottom and I've got a trim clip removal tool on the top. And hopefully, and I'll compress the middle of it. You can see a fold in the middle, I guess. I guess you can. There's a fold in the middle there where you just press, um, to try and compress the two bits together like that. And then hopefully I should be able to draw it out. I think I'll be levering here down the bottom and levering at the top. And hopefully that will make it come out. It's actually compressed to go in there. They're a stupid idea. So once I compressed the thing enough in the middle, it was able to come past the uh, bottom section of the tray or the uh, housing and the top housing as well. So that should, in fact, pull out. Oh, oh there we go. All right, let's have a look at it. And as usual, it's definitely ready for replacement. You can see all the, looks like fur and, I don't know. Oh, there we go, half a tree in there. That's all good. Um, this guy looks like he's parked underneath a tree at some point. Uh, there was a lot in his uh, scuttle panel. The scuttle panel is this panel here, um, which usually houses the wiper arms, and that tends to fill up with leaves, etc. I've cleaned it out now uh, with some compressed air. This was chockers full of leaves, all in behind the wiper arm. There was, uh, you know, mud and uh, leaves, etc. And that's not good for rust, of course. But of course, another thing, it won't allow airflow into here. So we need to get rid of all those leaves so that you can give your cabin filter the best chance of getting some fresh air to filter it and then put it through the uh, um, HVAC system. Not a sponsor, but the, uh, what's that, Westfill uh, cabin filter number is that one there. Um, 
your WACF0077. One thing I did notice about the cabin filter that was installed was, now remember that sort of taggy looking thing was hanging down the bottom, and they've got the airflow going backwards. Um, I'm going to put it in that way. The airflow should go towards the fan, and so that goes that away where the arrow is. So yes, yeah, someone's installed it backwards. Some of these later cabin filters are a bit stupid. Uh, some manufacturers are smart enough to actually break them into two. You slide in one, you pop it up, then you slide the other one in. But some of these manufacturers, they expect you to fit this into a hole this big. So what you have to do is squish this like this, compress it, and then once it's small like that, shove it through the hole and let it expand out again. But as you can see, look, there's, uh, it doesn't necessarily expand out to where it's meant to be, simply because we've compressed it. So honestly, I don't think it's a good design, these ones that they make you um, force them into a shape that doesn't belong. I much prefer to see the double ones. Uh, there's one here and one here. You pop in one half, you shove it up that way, then you slide in your bottom half and they sit on top of one another, do an amazing job. These, nine times out of 10, you pull them out and they're all compressed or they're a bit squished out of shape, which honestly, it's not gonna allow proper airflow to go past. Classic example. Here's the old one that I took out, there we go. Not very attractive, but you can see I was digging around this side. This is the side that I got out, but have a look at the other side. So you can see where someone's compressed it to put it in, but it hasn't uh, regained its shape. And of course, this area here would be where uh, air would escape and not be filtered, but not only that, um, we're going to get a lot of you know bugs and bits and pieces coming through there as well. So I don't like these designs where you've got to compress them. This one here is like super hard. She's even the max muscles can't compress it properly. So the Westfield ones are a little more floppy. They might regain their shape a bit better. And of course, because you've got to compress them, they sort of catch on the way in. So just make sure that you get it all the way in there because that's physically got to go inside, okay? So that's got to go in there and the bottom bit should go in there, all right? So that's the design of it. I'm not gonna take credit for it because I don't think much of them. Look, I hope I'm getting this on camera properly. Where's my finger? There it is. Okay, so yes, that's how it goes. Don't forget our little trap door goes on next. That goes into the top section up there, just hooks into that. And the bottom section goes in like that. Click into place like that. I don't know if you can see it or not. Anyway, that's how it goes in, guys. Look, I'll be honest with you, I did try and reach around to get that little panel off, and I did get it off before, but I struggled to get the cabin filter itself out. And I honestly think, well, look, I'm old and crusty nowadays, but pulling out the glove box was a great idea. You can do it without pulling out the glove box, but for me personally, made the job a lot easier. Not quicker, just easier. Technically the job is done, but hey, I want to tidy up. But some people would say, hey, this is just a guy that's got a vehicle that's being used for mowing lawns and stuff like that. You know, the back's full of bits and pieces for his work, but I want to be professional. I want to tidy up after myself. I didn't create that mess there, but I want to prove that I care for his vehicle. There we go. Wouldn't you agree that that looks a little more professional? I haven't spent too long cleaning it. Just threw, cleaned the mat out and Gave it a quick sweep up with a hand broom, but it does look as if I care about the vehicle, which hey, I do. There you go, another cabin filter done. This time on a Nissan X-Trail T31 2010 model with a 2.5 litre engine in it. I'm sure my mate will be happy to see this video. Nah, just kidding, I was joking. Anyway guys, what I'm not joking about is asking you to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, do so, give it a like, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget about that notification bell. You don't wanna miss any future videos. So until next time guys, this is Miracle Max signing off. I will catch you later.